Hi everyone, this is Mark of Tech Pinas. So, kamusta po kayo? I hope you're all doing great despite the ongoing pandemic. So, ako po na dito lang ako sa bahay namin sa Manila, just uh, trying to relax and as much as possible, umiwas po na lumabas masyado, no, para na rin to protect myself and also my loved ones. So, for this video, sa ating Tech Pinas video ngayon, uh, samahan niyo po ako na i-unbox, i-setup, at uh, magbigay rin ng quick specs rundown or features rundown down of this one. This is the all-new Realme 7. So, kasabayan po itong nilabas ng Realme 7 Pro sa Pilipinas noong September 30. So, bagong-bago po itong phone na to. At sa tingin ko po, bagay na bagay ito lalo na ngayon na back to school season na. So, para sa mga estudyante na naghahanap ng bagong telepono siguro coming from their uh, entry-level Android smartphone na gusto na nilang mag-upgrade to something more powerful for their online learning. Also, ano, for play na rin, no? For, for those who also love playing games to relax naman, di ba? On weekends, then definitely this phone is great for you. Also, for young professionals in their uh, work from home arrangements, na meron na rin mga siguro mga budding passion for mobile photography and also for recording videos and also for uh, siguro for vlogging and being a TikToker, this one could be great for you. So the Realme 7 has a price tag of 14990 So sa kanilang dalawa po ng Realme 7 Pro, this one is a more affordable. The Realme 7 Pro sells for 17890 But then that one po has slightly more powerful features pagating din sa photography compared to this one. But then, for 14890 I think panalong panalo po itong device na to. Okay, so if you're interested, join me uh, in my quick unboxing, initial setup, and specs rundown of the all-new Realme 7 here in the Philippines. Okay, let's go! Alright, so let's start. Tanggalin muna natin yung plastic cover using my Swiss knife. Okay, start dito. dito. Okay. Okay. And as you can see, uh, katulad ng mga naunang mga Realme smartphones na nirelease ngayong taon, uh, the Realme 7 also comes in this yellow box. Tapos, you have 7 on top and you have Realme branding dito. So on this side, you have Realme 7, also Realme 7 dito. Tapos dito yung Realme logo. Nothing here. And at the bottom, uh, katulad din ng mga naunang mga Realme smartphones. Nandito yung listahan ng mga key features ng Realme 7. So here, you have the Sony 64 megapixel quad camera. Also the Helio G95 gaming processor. So obviously, this phone is made for running some popular games that are out in the market for Android. So andyan na yung sikat na sikat na Mobile Legends. So kung Mobile Legends fan din kayo katulad ko, this phone could be great for you. Next, you have the large 5000 milliamp hours battery pack which also supports 30 watts dart charge technology. So ultra fast charging yan. And then finally, you have the 90 hertz ultra smooth display. So it has 90 hertz refresh rate. Okay, so it's na siya. So my unit here is the Realme 7 with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage. And this model specifically sells for 14,890 here in the Philippines. Okay, so I think we're ready to lift the cover and tingnan natin kung ano ano ang laman sa loob. And slowly. And ayan, so katulad din ng mga unang Realme phones na unbox natin. You have this paper sleeve. Tapos ang message dyan, Hey, welcome to Realme family. Tanggalin mo natin. Okay, so tingnan natin kung ano-ano naman ito. Okay, 
Okay, so tingnan natin kung ano-ano naman ito. Tingnan siya. So may isa pang message, let's embrace a new journey. And ito na yung metal pin for ejecting the SIM card tray. So other stuff inside, tingnan natin isa isa. So katulad din ng mga nauna nating Realme phones na in-unbox, you have the quick guide and also the important information guide. Okay. So ang maganda dito sa quick guide eh booklet lang siya. So I suggest na basahin niyo na rin <laughs> to have a good idea about this phone. Meron din tayo dito ang complete list of technical specifications so you know exactly what you're getting and siya. Okay. And then next to the important information guide natin. So this one includes all the safety information as well as the services and also uh, the warranty coverage for the device. And I think maganda na meron na tayong kasamang free soft gel case. So you won't have to buy this separately. Okay? Okay. So now let's remove the phone sa kanyang cradle. Okay, so ito yung handset natin and mamaya mas ipapakita ko pa sa inyo yung design niya. So sa ngayon, tapusin muna natin yung ating unboxing. So remove this and ayan. So this is the charging cable and as you can see, ayan siya. Labas natin. So this is a USB Type-C to USB charging cable and you also need this for transferring files or the photos and videos that you will take using this phone to your laptop or desktop and ito na finally you have the travel charger and as you can see this one supports a maximum of 6a output and that means that this supports the phone says 30 watts dart charge flash charging technology. So, ayan. Okay. So, rundown lang tayo ng mga kasama sa official retail package ng Realme 7. Okay. We have the phone itself, the soft gel case, the important information guide, the quick start guide, this pin for ejecting the SIM card tray, the USB Type-C to USB charging cable, and of course, you have the travel charger which supports 30 watts dart charge technology. Okay, so ngayon, tanggalin na natin yung phone sa plastic cover niya para mapakita ko sa inyo yung disenyo. Ayan. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this is the Realme 7. Ayan. So, very handsome. Gorgeous phone. Okay, so what I have here is the mist blue version. Meron siyang frosted glass finish. Tapos ito sa taas na to, meron siyang parang shiny band right there with the Realme logo. And you have here the quad rear camera module. So it says here 64 MP AI camera. Ganda. So this is again uh, mist blue. Pero kung nakikita ninyo, when light hits it, para siyang may iridescent uh, glow, ano? parang mayroong like, purple or violet. Very uh, eye-catching. I, I actually think this is a, a rather unique finish. And definitely, uh, isa to sa mga highlights of this phone. Okay, so bigyan, bigyan ko lang kayo ng run-through ng mga sides niya, kung ano makikita ninyo. So, this is the right side. And nandito na yung ating power button. And that power button also incorporates the fingerprint scanner. So kung makikita ninyo, medyo ano siya, nakapasok siya. So it's in indented and flat yung power button natin kasi meron na yung kasamang fingerprint scanner. Okay, so on top, nothing here. It's clean. This is the left side. And on the left side, you have the volume up and down buttons and also the tray that you can eject. Uh, then nandiyan din yung ating uh, SIM card slot. So, tingnan natin kung ano yung nasa loob. Yan. 
so alam na natin so there you go so this phone has two nano sim card slots and also a dedicated slot for the micro sd card so ano siya? this means that you won't have to sacrifice dual sim capability to get more space for your large files finally sa bottom part niya, you have the 3.5 millimeter audio jack Itong dalawang holes na to are for the microphone, then the USB Type-C port, and then finally, these four holes are for the loudspeaker. Okay. So later, I'll talk more about the face of the phone or the display, but for now, join me sa initial setup of my Realme 7. Okay, so let's long press on the power button. Okay, so bilisan na lang natin yung pagsisetup. So let's choose the language, English. Next. Next. So let's agree to the terms of service. Next. Now let's connect to our Wi-Fi network. Let me just do that. Dito, we can turn on Wi-Fi assistance. So ibig sabihin nito, automatic pipiliin na nung phone yung pinakamabilis na connection that's available. So for now, I'm just gonna turn it off. Next. Uh, we can check now for updates yung phone natin. So dito, if you have an older phone, pwede nyo nang i-copy yung data from that. Pupunta sa bago nating Realme 7. But for now, skip ko muna. Okay, sign in tayo sa Google account natin. Okay. More. And I like all of these actually, so accept lang natin siya. This is for uh, the Google Assistant. So, dito pwede nyo napiliin if uh, you want it to send you weather information and also news. For now, di mo natin siya to turn on. Ito yung ating voice match. Okay, Google. And dito, uh, we can set up our lock screen and password. So, settings. So, we can set our uh, password dito. So, meron din siyang other encryption methods. Ayan. So, mag, uh, pili lang ako na isa, no? So, we can also set up our fingerprint scanner later. So, pattern ko tayo. Isa sa mga mga gandang privacy and security features of this phone is uh, facial information. So, it has facial recognition na integrated sa ating front-facing camera. But for now, uh, I will skip this muna, no? Uh, let me just show you yung ating uh, fingerprint scanner and how to set it up. So, yung fingerprint scanner natin ay side-mounted. So, ito siya. And it's uh, integrated with a power button. So, to set it up, all you have to do is to keep tapping it. Okay. There you go. Yan. Ganyan. Making sure na yung buong uh, surface area ng ating fingerprint ay registered. Okay. So, adjust the wing grip. So, ito naman yung mga sides. Kailangan makuha rin yan ng ating sensor. Okay, and there you go, done, continue. Aside from Google Play Store, meron ding uh, app market ang Realme smartphones where you can download applications. So sa ngayon, uh, pareho natin tong pwedeng mapagkuna na applications no? yung Google Play Store and Realme's app market. So ito, it says here you can download apps from the Realme app market but for now, I'm just gonna skip it. Okay, so we're done. Welcome to the Realme UI and let's get started. Okay. Okay, so we're done with the initial setup and this is Realme UI 1.0 on top of Android 10 operating system. So this is how the interface looks. This is the app drawer. And you get to it by swiping up from the bottom of the home screen. No? Yeah. And then dito, this is the drop down notifications tab. And you also have your quick access buttons here for your connectivity. Yeah. Of course, if you want to turn on dark mode or also eye comfort mode, dito, madaling madali na lang siya. You just need to swipe down and you just turn it on. Yeah. Ito yung dark mode natin. Okay, that's how it looks with dark mode. So, ma may kita nyo rin yan sa settings. So, dark mode talaga siya. Ayan.
but I prefer actually light mode okay there you go so let me just change the wallpaper para ma-appreciate ninyo yung display and you do that by long pressing on any blank space on the home screen and then tapping on wallpaper so let me just choose something lighter this one yeah ino siya and with that since kitang kita na yung display natin so this is a 6.5 inch full HD plus 1080p by 2400 IPS display that's protected by scratch resistant Corning Gorilla Glass 3 and this one of course also has a 90 Hertz refresh rate for ultra smooth transitions and also touch response so when you swipe through the screen may kita ninyo na talagang mas responsive or buttery smooth talaga yung mga transitions so if you're wondering this phone also comes with a pre-installed screen protector so you won't have to get one separately so andyan na siya which of course adds an extra layer of protection for the touch screen lalo na if you love putting your phone inside your pocket as may mga kasamang mga barya or your keys and so medyo it uh, gives you peace of mind okay so that's the screen and as you can see it also has very thin bezels no lalo na sa taas and sa ating left and side parts sa bandang baba it's a bit thicker compared sa taas na portion but for me i'm not really complaining because it also helps me uh, siguro minimize the chances of my palm uh, touching the display of course no when i'm holding the phone so for me it's okay Hindi naman din siya ganun ka, uh, ka thick yung kanyang chin sa baba. So that's alright. And with this wallpaper, it's very obvious that the phone has a punch hole dito sa taas. And this houses a 16 megapixel f2.1 selfie camera, which has a 26 millimeter field of view. So it's fairly wide. Then you can easily include your friends and loved ones in yung mga groofies using this one. And this one also supports HDR technology. So ayan, 16 megapixel ang ating front facing camera. And having talked about the front facing camera, camera. Pag-usapan na natin itong kanyang apat na camera sa likod. No? And uh, like what I said earlier, isa to sa mga main selling points of the Realme 7. So let me just give you a quick rundown of the technical specifications of this camera module. No? So the most powerful one is a 64 megapixel main camera with f1.8 aperture. So having such a high resolution as well as a wide aperture, that camera is really great for everyday point and shoot photography so yan din yung pinakamaganda pagdating sa low light performance because the wide aperture captures as much light as possible and matched by the phone's night mode so meron din tong night mode setting for the camera talaga makakuha kayo ng crisp and clear photos even in low light conditions Okay, so another thing about the main camera is that it has a large sensor from Sony. No? So that's a 1 by 1.73 inch sensor from Sony na talaga nga naman nakakatulong din along with the wide aperture to capture even more light which is needed for brilliant and also vibrant photos even when the lighting condition is not optimal. The second one is an 8 megapixel f2.3 ultra wide camera which is great for travel photography dahil maganda yan for capturing scale so for landscape as well as architectural photography kuhang kuha natin lahat yang kuhang kuha talaga ang buong scene with that ultra wide angle camera maganda rin yan for group photos lalo na pagka nag outing kayo tapos ang dami dami ninyo mga mag magkakasama sa company or malaking barkada kayo or malaking family uh, lahat kayo makakasama sa shot lalo na kapag yung kumukuha ng picture eh hindi naman makakapag step back talaga ng malayo so with that ultra wide camera kahit medyo nasa harapan nyo lang siya lahat kayo ay kasama na sa photos so the next one is a 2 megapixel macro camera which is great for close up photography so yan yung for taking photos of insects as well as siguro yung mga internal parts of flowers or yung taking photos of uh, siguro fine details or minute details on larger subjects 
and then finally this phone has a 2 megapixel depth sensor and that one enables the phone's portrait mode so yan yung magdalagay ka ng bokeh effect or background blur to portrait shots and you can also use that I think for photography of siguro kahit na anong objects na gusto ninyong blurred yung background para mas ma-highlight siya and also for food photography very useful din siya para talagang ma-highlight yung kinakain nyo o yung ganda ng kinakain ninyo kasi blurred yung background ng plate so that's good and then here as you can see this phone also has an LED flash which is handy when taking photos at night do you love recording videos or are you an aspiring vlogger or YouTube content creator? Pwedeng pwede nyo ring gamitin ang Realme 7 as your gadget companion for content creation. So this one, the main camera, can record 4K videos at 30 frames per second and it can also shoot full HD clips at 30 and 60 frames per second. Yung ultra wide angle camera naman natin can record full HD videos at 30 frames per second. And this um, video recorder also benefits benefits from gyro eis so that really helps you get more stable looking videos even when you're walking or moving while recording them now for the tiktokers naman na, who love using the front facing camera of their phones for recording videos or maybe just for vloggers who prefer to see themselves in the frame when recording their talking head clips then the front facing camera can record full HD videos at 30 frames per second I believe this one also supports uh, slow-mo video recording and that's a good feature for those who are aiming at creating more creative clips for platforms like TikTok Okay, so that's it, the photo and video recording capabilities of the Realme 7. Okay, so like what I said earlier, this phone is very reliable when it comes to gaming and also it delivers really smooth performance for everyday use and that's made possible by the internal hardware of the Realme 7. So for that, let me just uh, go to settings and about phone. So there you go. So here, kitang kita natin lahat na ng mga technical specifications ng Realme 7 so you know exactly what you're getting. Realme 7 runs on the 12 nanometer MediaTek Helio G95 processor which is an octa-core processor with a maximum of 2.05 GHz clock speed. And that octa-core processor also incorporates a Mali G76 MC4 GPU which delivers smooth gaming performance. So again, kung mahili kayo mag Mobile Legends, na partner din ng Realme no so Realme is one of the partners of Mobile Legends here in the Philippines definitely mahakuha kayo na smooth gaming performance from this phone with such a uh, powerful and energy efficient processor yan nga yung ating MediaTek G95 processor which is actually a high end processor from MediaTek Okay, and then that chipset is complemented by 8 gigs of RAM. So malaki na yan, ano? and it, uh, it's good for multitasking. So if you're a power user who runs multiple apps and games on your phone at once, you will really appreciate yung 8 gigs of RAM na yan. And um, on top of that, additionally, this phone has 128 gigs of internal storage. And yung internal storage natin I UFS 2.1 na so it's uh, fairly fast and uh, you can even beef it up no so if you record lots of videos or take lots of photos and you don't want to keep deleting or uploading sa cloud you can easily add a micro SD card dito to get even more space now for the phone's battery, this one is powered by a very large 5000 mAh lithium polymer battery pack which is really uh, that capacity is tremendous on a mid-range smartphone talaga, no? and matched with the energy efficient processor, you truly get I would say at least uh, 24 hours of uptime from this phone or if you're not really a power user, baka nga tumagal pa yan ng 2 to 3 days sa inyo eh, diba? And what's even more amazing is that 
that on top of having such a high capacity battery this phone also supports 30 watts ultra fast dart charge technology so that gives you 100% charge from 0% in just 65 minutes so that's one hour and five minutes to be exact and you can also get 50% charge in just 26 minutes so I think that's amazing for example pagising niyo sa umaga nakita niyo ay wala na akong charge and then you only have 30 minutes to prepare diba uh, like so umaga you, you take your shower you have your breakfast so when you plug it in uh, in 26 minutes you get 50% charge and with the 5000 milliamp hours battery that's 2500 so malaki na rin yun, di ba? so I really think that the large battery matched by the ultra fast charging technology really makes this phone a reliable companion for power users and also for those who are always out and about and who hate always carrying a power bank with them and want to spend less time I'm plugging their phone to an electrical outlet and more time using the device to celebrate their passions in life like for example photography or taking videos but that's really great okay so for those who are wondering sa mga materials na ginamit sa exterior ng Realme 7 so again the face is made of scratch resistant Gorilla Glass 3 and meron na rin tong pre-installed screen protector so the sides ito yung ating mga uh, the mid frame no? uh, this is uh, made of polycarbonate but it has a metallic sheen so when you look at it from afar actually it looks like metal pero uh, it's really polycarbonate but then despite that it's, it still looks very elegant and very sleek and then for the back you do have this uh, frosted glass look and you have this quad rear camera module right here and overall lahat ng mga materials na yun na mention ko including nga itong beautiful frosted uh, finish right here with an iridescent glow talaga nga namang you have a very elegant phone that fits uh, even a corporate environment diba? So if you're a student or a young professional na naghahandap ngayon ng magandang uh, powerful entry-level smartphone that offers a considerable upgrade from your siguro from your bare looking or your basic looking uh, entry-level Android smartphone eh talaga nga namang you should check out the Realme 7 as you can see this phone is very handsome and uh, very beautiful definitely eye-catching and this is a phone you won't be shy to flaunt or ilabas pag nasa cafe kayo or even when you're in meetings or maybe uh, even inside the classroom eventually again what i have here is the mist blue version of realme 7 and meron din tayong mist white here in the philippines okay to wrap up, let me just talk about the features of the Realme 7 which I really like and ito yung mga reason why I highly recommend this phone to all students for their online learning as well as for our young professionals para sa kanilang mga work from home arrangement currently uh, with the new normal. Okay, so first off, I really like the really as i've said ang ganda talaga ng disenyo nito no? really um handsome beautiful design language and then next the display is just as gorgeous so again this is a 6.5 inch ips display with full hd plus resolution and meron din tong 90 hertz refresh rate for battery smooth transitions and then pagdating naman sa imaging capabilities solid na solid din to for those who love to take selfies meron siyang 16 megapixel front facing camera then you have that quad rear camera module na talaga nga naman panalong panalo uh, pagdating sa flexibility so you have the main shooter the ultra wide the macro and then the depth sensor and then yung ating main camera 64 megapixels with the sony sensor and also with a wide aperture na talagang very handy when it comes to low light and also night photography now pagdating naman sa power panalong panalo rin tong realme 7 no? so again this one is powered by a 12 nanometer uh, octa core uh, 2.05 gigahertz mediatek helio g95 processor na talaga nga namang maganda for gaming so for mobile gamers out there 
you can definitely rely on this phone. Also, it has 8 gigs of RAM for smooth multitasking experience and 128 gigs of expandable storage. Isa pa sa pinaka attractive features of this phone would have to be the very large 5,000 milliamp hours lithium polymer battery pack na meron pang kasamang 30 watts fast charging technology which Realme calls Dart Charge technology. So again, in one hour and five minutes, you get 100% charge from totally drained um, battery charge condition. Okay, so solid na solid in almost all departments. No? So in another video, I will compare the Realme 7. Uh, this one is priced again at 14890 And I'll be comparing it to the Realme 7. 7 Pro which costs 17,990 so 3,000 na kanilang price difference and I will be doing a separate post for that one okay so but for now again um, recommended ko talaga tong phone na to for all students and young professionals in the new normal so it's back to school season again for students na naghahanap ng bagong phone or those who are looking to upgrade from their entry-level Android smartphone into a good mid-range smartphone that's powerful, has a great set of cameras na hindi naman sobrang mahal, definitely you should check out the Realme 7. Okay! Okay, so again, the Realme 7 sells for 14890 here in the Philippines and I highly recommend so TV friends, everyone, if you found this video useful and informative, don't forget to like the video and also to subscribe to the Tech Pinas YouTube channel. Sana po masamahan ninyo ako sa mga susunod pang videos natin at uh, sana lagi po kayong manood ng ating mga tech-related videos dito sa Tech Pinas. Okay, again, this is Mark of Tech Pinas. Thank you and bye for now.